हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ओ टी एन ट्रांसपोंडर कार्ड सिग्नल फ्लो इन दिस करेंट वीडियो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी डब्ल्यू डी ऑप्टिकल ट्रांसपोंडर एंड ओ टी एन टर्बोटर एंड लाइन कार्ड यू कैन फाइंड द डिफरेंस एंड द डिटेल अबाउट दिस डिफरेंस इन दिस वीडियो लिंक द वीडियो लिंक फॉर दिस हैव बीन गिवन बिलो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ओ टी एन ट्रांसपोंडर कार्ड सिग्नल फ्लो इन दिस करेंट वीडियो सो वील मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन an otu optical transport unit board converts the client signal services into standard optical signals the client side services into a standard optical signal it means that it receives the optical transponder unit receives the signal from the client side like oc192 stm64 10g lan or any types of services and convert it into the dwdm itut standards wavelength after performing mapping converges and other procedure the board also perform the reverse process so the otn otu optical transport unit board converts the client signals into the standard dwdm signals by performing all these function inside the card on right hand side you can see the signal flow diagram or the internal structure of the otu optical transport unit so this document is going to explain the taking reference of Huawei LDX LDX is the OTU optical transponder unit card the LDX board consists of the below below, below mentioned section first one is the WDM side optical module this is the WDM optical side module this is the client side optical module this is the signal processing module this is the control and communication module and last one is the power supply module the control and the communication module of the optical transponder unit is responsible to communicate with the fcc system control and communication board by the back plane so these are the module functions so we will next discuss the module function let us discuss about the main cell module function of ldx card so we have two four module wdm side optical module client side optical module signal and processing module and control and communication module and last one is the power supply module we will discuss all these module in detail in the next slide so this is the client side module so here you are seeing this is the client side module in the ldx card there are two inputs first and second rx1 is the receiver tx1 is the transmitter rx1 receiver is the receive the client services and tx is cleaves the uh, optical services to the back to the client so this module consists of the client side receiver and the client side transmitter so we are going to discuss the client side receiver and the client side transmitter function client side receiver perform the optical to electrical conversion of oc192 stm64 10g lan 10g wan otu2 otu2 optical signal so in ldx card this is the 10g port so this receive the multiple types of client services like oc192 stm64 10g lan 10g wan otu2 and otu2 optical signals and then convert it into the electrical signals for the uh, mapping process client side module mapping process and fec or otn processing modules so the receive signals is then converted into the optical to electrical signal by this optical client side receiver client side transmitter perform the electrical to optical conversion from the internal electrical signals to all these types of signal and convert it to the optical signals and then it goes to the client side client side optical module also report and perform the client side optical interface and it also check the working state of the client side laser so we will move next to the wdm side optical module so here is the wdm side optical module the module consists of the wdm side receiver and wdm side transmitter so let's discuss about the wdm side receiver and wdm side transmitter function wdm side receiver so this is the input this is the receiver this is the transmitter output so receiver perform the optical to electrical conversion of otu2 otu2 optical signals and wdm side transmitter perform the electrical to optical conversion from the internal electrical signals to the otu2 otu2 optical signal which is standard to the wdm or itu2 standard wavelength the wdm side optical module also check the performance of the wdm side optical interface and it also checks the working state of the wdm side laser so this is a wdm side optical module 
this is the transmitter this is the receiver when it receives any channels it then converted to electrical to optical then reverse process then OTN mapping D OTN D mapping is done and then which type of signal is that and then it transfer to the client and in the reverse process electrical to optical conversion after grooming after mapping and after FEC encoding it converts to the output signal and then uh, it uh, assigned a DWDM lambda so next one is the signal processing module this is the signal processing module we can see there are types of uh, different different segments in the signal processing module this is the STS sonnet encapsulation client side OTN processing tangy LAN STH sonnet encapsulated mapping module and this is the OTN processing module so for each port there is a different OTN processing module and there are different types of signals like STH sonnet channel client OTN or tangy LAN so SDH sonnet encapsulation and mapping module one channel of SDS sonnet signals and map the signals into the OTU2 payload area. The module also performs the reverse process as the SDH sonnet performance monitoring function. Tangy LAN encapsulation and mapping module. Suppose if we are getting the tangy LAN types of uh, client signals, then in encapsulates one channel of tangy LAN signals and map the signals into the OTU2 or OTU2-2E payload area. This module also performs the reverse process and has a tangy LAN performance and func monitoring function. Client side OTN processing module and OTN processing module implement the OTN performance monitoring function this is the client side OTN performance monitoring or uh, OTN processing module frames OTU2 OTU2 is signal processing over process overhead and perform the FEC coding and decoding in this OTN processing module so after mapping the signal goes to the OTN processing module to enable the OTN functions like OT and FEC coding etc so further we will move to the control and the communication module this is the control and communication module this is the control and communication module which is connected to the WDM side optical client side optical module and signal processing module and it works in backbone with the SCC system control communication so these are the function of the control and communication module control operation on the board controls operation on each module of the board according to the CPU instruction it collect information about alarm performance event working state and voltage detection from each functional module of the board and it communicates with the system control and communication board in the back plane power supply module so we already know that the different module to work needs power so there is a power supply module here it converts the DC power supplied by the back plane into the power required by each module on the board so it just supply the power required power to the different WDM uh, side optical module client side optical module signal processing module and different types of module uh, can get the power by the power supply unit so these are the signal flow this is the signal flow of the previous section you can here see the transmit and the receive direction are defined in the signal flow of the LDF board which is the Huawei specific card the transmit direction is defined as the direction from the client side of the LDX to the WDM side of the player it is very important that here we are defining the transmit direction is from the client side to the WDM side and the receive direction is defined as the direction from the WDM side of the LDX to the client side of the LDX the RX1, TX1 and the RX2, TX2 ports independently process signals. The RX1, TX port corresponds to the OUT1 in one port and the RX2, TX2 port corresponds to the OU2 to an in2 port. You can see in previous, this RX1, TX1 port is responsible for this and this RX, TX port is associated with this. These both ports works independently. So in transmit direction, the client side optical module receives two channels of the optical signals. First for the RX1 and the second is from the RX2. These are the two optical signals. From the client equipment to the RX1, RX2 optical interface and then perform the optical to electrical conversion. After optical to electrical conversion, the electrical signals are sent to the signal processing module. OTU2, OTU2E signals are sent to the client side OTN processing module for performance monitoring. Other types of signals are sent to the different encapsulation and mapping module. Different types of signals. Uh, like SDS module, SDS signals or the client side routine processing or the 10G these are the mapping process so whenever we receive any type of signals this is sent to the this section, this section for the mapping process 
so OTN processing module performs monitoring. Other types of signals are sent to the different encapsulation mapping module for encapsulation and mapping. In the end, operations such as the OTN framing and FEC encoding, uh, FEC encoding are performed by the OTN processing module. Finally, the module output two channels, OTU2 and OTU2 electrical signals. There are two signals for the uh, OUT1 and the OUT2. So these signals are sent to the WDM side optical module after electrical to optical conversion. The module transmit these two optical signals at the DWDM wavelength and which is defined by the I2T. So two specific lambda, DWDM lambda is assigned to the output of output 1 and output 2. And receive direction, the opposite of the transmit action. The WDM side optical module receive the two channels optical signals at DWDM wavelength that comply with I2T through the input in one and in two optical interface. After optical to electrical conversion, the OTU2, OTU2 signals are sent to the signal processing module. The module performs operations such as framing, FAC, decoding, demapping and decapsulation process. Then the module output two channels of any type of signal like OC192, HTM64, TNG LAN, TNG1 or OTU2, OTU2 electrical signal. The client side optical module performs electrical to optical conversion of these any types of the signals and then outputs to the client via the TX1 or TX2 optical interfaces. So these are the signal flow for the transponder card. So these are some important points which needs to remember. Like audio case signals are the electrical signals, audio signals is the optical signal. At transmit, physical port of the client side optical module TX or out electrical to optical conversion engine at the transmit physical port of the WDM side optical module TX or out electrical to optical conversion engine at receiver physical port of client side optical module RX or in optical to electrical conversion is done at receiver physical port of the WDM side optical module RX or in optical to electrical conversion is done. Electrical to optical and optical to electrical conversion is done in the optical module. Optical module can be divided into two types, client side optical module, line side or WDM side optical module. So for electrical to optical and optical to electrical conversion, uh, we will discuss in detail about the next video for these features. So after optical to electrical or electrical to optical conversion, the signal is processed in the signal processing module for encapsulation, framing, FAC coding and reverse process. All the process which is for the TX is reversed with the RX. Number of audio key electrical signal is combined into the OT4 optical signal. So in OTU, optical transport unit card or board, there is a both client side optical module or line or WDM side optical module is present and there is no cross connect board is involving here. This is very important in case of the optical transporter unit. The OTU board is test, takes the client side services and convert it into the standard optical signals, which is defined by the DWDM, any I2 to standard lambda, and perform, after performing mapping, conversions, and other procedures. So these are the function and the signal flow for the optical transporter unit. We will discuss in detail about the line side and the client side, different, different car in next section.